minutes to my friend and colleague, the gentleman from Alaska and the sponsor of H.R. 218, Mr. Young. The gentleman from Alaska is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam, for yielding to me and asking if I even extend. Without objection. You know, I listen to people on the other side. This is a good rule. I want to compliment the Rules Committee. It's crucially important to recognize that um, this is an issue that it means lives. Nineteen people have died out of that community of King Cove. Mothers, children, husbands, brothers, uncles, and aunts. Because we didn't have a road, they didn't have a road. We passed this legislation, similar fact to 2009, that granted the land exchange, and it's a mass, massive land exchange, 43,000 acres for 260 acres from the state of Alaska to construct this road. I think that's a fair exchange for 11 mile road, single lane, gravel covered, just so they have access to save lives. And those that speak against it have never experienced the wind that howls through that area. When you try to land a plane and you crash or take off, you have a sick person with you and you crash or go across the bay when the waves are 30 feet high. And the evacuation of those individual ill people to an area that's only 11 miles away in this unfinished road, and they die. Human beings, Alaskan constituents, that have medical aid only 600 miles away and stopped by 11 miles. That is not allowed because Supposedly there's a better way, and that there is no better way than a road and the weather condition I'm speaking of. When you think about it, I often listen to the other side of the aisle and voting against something like this, and yet they'll defend the right to kill, not the right to kill, but to save certain animals, but they don't want to save human life. That's wrong. This is a good project. It should be built. I'm hoping this body recognize lives are important. And recognize the fact that this road doesn't disturb any of the wildlife. It's ironic they'll say it's going to disturb the geese that live off of eelgrass. The closest the road comes to this one bay is 11 miles away. 11 miles. And the same area, whether it's this roadless wildlife range, has miles of road in it already. Miles of road already in place. And one of those roads that are already in place goes right by the lagoon where the tourists go watch the geese. Now, why can't a tourist go by an area and watch the geese and it doesn't disturb them? But if someone is sick, dying in a bus or an ambulance or a car or a truck. That's going to disturb the geese. This is a nonsense argument by environmental communities around this nation that want to put a stop to anything that benefits mankind and save the wildlife, which they from New York or San Francisco don't know what they're talking about. My job is to protect my people. This is not going to cost the taxpayers a nickel. This is going to be a project well done, and it will not disturb the wildlife they're so-called trying to protect. So I ask my colleagues on this floor to think about humanity. Think about that person, be it your mother, your daughter, your son, your aunt, your uncle, your brother, and you'd want to see him die because they're trying to protect the goose? Shame on you. Shame on those that vote against this bill, saying this is more important. I live in New York or California. This goose is more important than human life. I think it's time we use a little sense in this body, a little understanding. Let's build this road. Let's pass this bill. Now, you back.
gentleman from New Wyoming Reserves, the gentleman from New York.